Welcome back to Detail Art. It's been a little while since I mumbled over a video, but I've been asked to record some of this. So this time we've got an Overfinch Range Rover in. It's a 2012 car and the poor thing is in a sorry state. So then we have to show you. So the car's already been cleaned and decontaminated, but we're dodging thunderstorms and things. So here it is after being clay dried and panel wiped. As you can see, it's pretty gnarly. Ooh. Some deep scratches from the bonnet onto the wing and then the bumper. We've got paint missing. Big old scratch behind the number plate. Big chunk of paint's been chewed off. Grills a bit wobbly. Might see if we can do something with that. Along the sides, it's just swell city. Super, super heavy swelling. Woo! Into the rear quarter. Doesn't get any better back here. I think the rear bumper has been painted. So it's a slightly, slightly different colour. Slightly different texture. But we'll find out soon. So on the back, you can see where the handle is and you get lots of hands like this and it's super gouged the paint up around there. So the best bet would be to take the badges off but these badges are hugely expensive so we're just going to work around them as best I can. I think these are aftermarket, I'm not really sure, these black lenses. Also, this tape will come off. Then we'll polish and coat that. Down the driver's side, much of the same, really. It's quite gnarly on the fuel cap, just because pop it there on these. Ooh. Lots and lots of swirls. On the driver's door, some vertical scratching along here. Can you see it? Nope. Oh, you'd have to take my word for it, it's there. But we'll try and work out what's gone on there. The lowers are just the same, really. And up here on this handle, we've got some flaky clear coat. And then just lots of marks where the door's been shut, pushing here, not using the handle. We're going to be doing a deep interior clean on this as well. Get that ivory lever a bit brighter. I don't know if you can tell, it's really ingrained. It's really shiny, really slippy. Clean up the carpets. Clean up the door cards. So the steering wheel is going to get re-trimmed in like a nice perforated lever and things with the little racing stripe at the top, centre stripe. That'd be pretty cool. So the job sheet for the Range Rover, or is it an Overfinch? I'll just keep going that Range Rover. Is a two-stage machine polish, so a heavy cut, then refine, panel wipe it, five-year ceramic coating, polish and coat the glass, the wheels. Take them off, coat them inside and out. Uh, deep interior with protection. And the engine bay's already done. So yeah, all round package on this one. Stay tuned and I'll try and show you.
where the paint wipe's all been cut, panel wiped. So the swirls and scratches and such are pretty much gone. A few deep scratches, but it looks really hazy. So this is fine. This is just from the heavy pad, heavy polish, leaves its own sort of micro marring, micro haze behind. So I'm gonna go now with a light polish, light pad, refine it, bring out all the gloss. So that's a wrap on the Overfinch Range Rover. Was it Range Rover Overfinch? Not really sure, but it had its major enhancement detail, so multi-stage machine polish, cut back a load of swirls, load of scratches, and refined it. Five-year ceramic coating, wheels came off, coated inside out. Uh, all exterior glass, polished. All of the exterior glass got polished and coated. Interior got super deep clean, leather protection, carpet protection. And it's done, so I'll leave you with um, after footage of that now, and then the next one is this super cool retro Volvo. So I'll see you then.